Since the beginning of the Russian military invasion of Ukraine, 103 children have died. This was announced by Prosecutor General Irina Venediktova. According to her, the estimate take place 24-7. These figures change every hour. According to the UN, as of 15th of March, more than 3 million Ukrainians left Ukraine due to the Russian invasion. According to the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, most Ukrainians went to the border with Poland, almost 2 million. In Vinnytsia, on the morning of 16th of March, Russian troops fired at a TV tower. There are currently no reports of injuries or death. Broadcasting in the city is temporarily out of operation. And near Rivne, where two missiles of the Russian occupiers hit the TV tower on March 14th, the dismantling of the blockage was completed. This was announced on the morning of 16th of March by the head of the regional military administration, Vitaly Koval. The death toll rose to 21, and the number of injured remained unchanged, 9. The United States will provide Ukraine with money to support the armed forces and humanitarian aid. I just signed the bipartisan government funding bill into law, keeping the government open and providing a historic $13.6 billion in funding to Ukraine, U.S. President Joseph Biden said on Twitter. Lebanon supported Ukraine and condemned Russia's military invasion. In Beirut, one of the best Lebanese museums, Sursok, is lit in blue and yellow in solidarity with Ukraine. Lebanon was the first Arab country to support Ukraine and condemn Russian aggression. And then Lebanon was supported by other Arab countries that voted for Ukraine, support for Ukraine at the UN General Assembly.